Good morning. This is my level 100 magician, heroic magician out of the box. So I, in terms of gear, it's just whatever gear they give you. I'm about halfway through level 100. I deleted my level 100 heroic necromancer after I got it to 101. I'm using my standard attack key, which, you know, targets X tar one. This is if you're, somebody else is pulling. If you're pulling, then you just uh, manually select the mob you want to attack next. If, if there's pet swarm, if you're rolling from a previous attack and you still have pets up, you can send them in. Pet attack, send in your pet. Attack on, if you want to attack yourself, pause. And then I have my malaise key to debuff. So that's my standard attack key. With minor variations, it's what I use for all of my characters. Um, the second key is two. That has Aegis of Nefari. It also is multi-bound with my pet heal and my alternate ability, Companions Aegis. So ideally, if I hit the two, Aegis of Nefari, and then Companions Aegis, if that's necessary, or it could roll into Pet Heal. So this is, when I'm tanking, this is just a very quick button to give my pet a little additional oomph. I also have my Mercenary, which is, you know, your journeyman healer mercenary. And uh, he's passive. I can hit him active, reactive. So just a stance key, stance reactive, or stance passive. The third button is my DPS line, so Relentless Servant. And it's multi-bound with Spear of Molten Steel and Fickle Magma. And then Spear of Blade Steel. My eyesight isn't quite good enough to read this screen. Um, I have Twin Cast down here. That's manually done by hitting the equal sign. Um, this is a multi-bind, so three will put whatever comes up next on the list. And then four, you can you can multi-bind this in your DPS line, but I have them separate. That'll do Force of Elements, Eradicate Magic, and uh, Blazing Orb. Now you notice I'm not using the of many spell. That's for, I'm soloing now, but if I wanted to use the of many, I would hit shift two. So you notice right here, fickle magma and spear of blade steel. So I hit shift two and this goes to the second um, tab on this hot bar and it's now fickle magma and blade, salvo of many. Salvo of many, hit shift one, and it changes to this lineup. That's one of the benefits of multi-binding like this. You can easily change your um, order of spells, order of casts, by just changing the tab. So let's show the spinner. And what I'm doing when I hit shift two is I'm going to the second line up here. <clears throat> so we hide the spinner. Um, this tab, nothing special here. It's my burns. And I will put in my information on this video a link to the current Night of Shadows raid lineup. I'm not going to go over a raid lineup. That's that particular document covers everything in detail. It's very well done. It is one that um, most raid guilds are using these days, or a lot of them are do using. And there's a lot of eyes on it if there's any mistakes. So definitely go to that link and it will teach you a lot about how to play a magician in a raid environment. I will say there's a bug right now 
that's a very annoying bug where if you use proccing weapons with your pets, it will lower the pet DPS because of a problem with lag in a raid environment. So be aware of that. Once it's fixed, it won't be an issue. But for right now in raid environments, most people are not giving their pet the um, summoned weapons because those have procs. They're giving them like summon daggers. Um, so we, this is my basic burn line here, but I also have a pet back off button. And this is reclaim energy. Uh, Memless requ reclaim. Then it summons the monster pet and then it does reclaim energy. It's a very quick way to get mana back. Runes. This is an alternate way to rune the pet. Um, it casts Companions Aegis, and if that is blocked for whatever it's down, it will cast Aegis of Nefari, which is actually the sixth spell on my spell lineup here. My spell lineup is Spear of Molten Steel, Spear of Blister Steel, Relentless Servant, Fickle Magma, Salve of Many, Aegis of Nefari, Renewal of Herrera, um, Shard of Water, the pet I use um, almost always is Shard of Water, does more DPS. If for some reason I'm tanking a named and I really need a solid tank, I'll go with the Earth pet. That's pretty much the two pets I use for the most part. Um, Infernal Skin, I've got up there Twin Cast, Gather Mana which I now screwed up, and summon Blazing Orb. But say I want to do Reclaim Energy, I would first suspend my companion. So I'm not going to Reclaim him. Then I hit Reclaim Energy. It mems the spells necessary for that. And since I first memos, I may have to hit this twice. Here we are, summoning the pet. And then reclaiming the energy. Actually works fairly smooth in practice. Once I've done that, bring my actual pet back. This is things to lower aggro or to give me a little extra health for the most part. I also suspend companion, summon companion, corpse drag, and staunch recovery. So this is all basically boosters or lower aggro stuff. Debuffs. Um, I keep these guys up, the minions. I don't use them in combat. I use them more as if I get adds and I need to send in an extra pet to slow down an ad while I figure out what to do with it. That's what I'll do. Finally, this is pet stuff and things that I don't have a lot of uh, Call of Hero, just extra AAs. My mercenary buttons to put my mercenary on active or passive. This line I primarily use through typing, hitting one, two, three, four, equal. All the other stuff I do manually these days. I don't have um, Gyna triggers for my Magician. If I was raiding, I would have Gyna triggers for ADBS, you know, so that I could know to ask for it or when it's up so I could maximize my DPS. But in the solo environment, I don't worry about it too much. Okay, I'm in the Plane of Knowledge on my level 100 Heroic Magician. I will hit the over there teleport go to the ring of scale version of over there on my way to frontier mountains where i will kill grove guardians which i choose because they're yellow to your heroic characters there is no pulling involved and there is enough mobs to keep you busy most likely as long as no one else is killing them let's get on a mount 
It's in Viz. And we will head there. The mobs in this zone over there, Ring of Scale version, are red. So we will not be killing them. I have not started playing EverQuest with my brother yet. He is working on his novel about a kid in Switzerland who comes to pre-revolutionary war United States. It's kind of an action adventure novel as far as I understand it. He sends me pieces of it all the time. And eventually the boy grows up to be a Mennonite bishop. Sort of a fictional retelling of an ancestor of ours. So I'm coming here to show you my setup in action. The setup that I have just discussed in the earlier segment of this video. This character is named L-I-N-X-I, -I, which is the license plate version of Lindsay, my daughter. And Halls of Critical Analysis is my the guild where I put all my alts in. It used to be an active guild with a bunch of friends of mine, but they have all moved on or passed on. And so I also have a lot of their characters stuck in there too. So we come up here as a character. I hit the one key and that will send in my pet. Let's make sure my mercenary is active. I hit the two key and it's going to ruin my pet. And then I will monitor the pet. So I start hitting the three key. In between the three key, I'll hit the four key, which will do the free DPS stuff in between casts. The key is, of course, to maximize the number of DPS casts you get out. How's the pet doing? Let's go uh, hit um, a heal. I'm hitting the two key and it just, whatever is up next will go. So back to the three key. Occasionally hit the four key. When I notice that force of elements is up. I use EQ Log Parser. Okay. Uh, Mana is pretty good, so I'll send in a pet. Go ahead and hit Rune. And then start my DPS line. Hit the 4 key, back to DPS. The three key. Up, let's help our pet out. Okay, he's gone. And let's suspend our pet and do reclaim energy. So we're down to about a third of our mana.
one. So we're claiming energy again. And I probably wouldn't do it again, but whatever. We're almost full mana with just two. Actually, it's pointless to do it this third time, but there it is. We're full mana. And um, so this is kind of the setup I'm using. I discussed it. This is my heroic mercenary setup for Magician. I find that the Magician in this setting outperforms the Necromancer, where you don't have to split mobs and you can continuously hit um, yellows. If I was seriously going to play a Necromancer, uh, a level 100, I would take him someplace where I could probably blues and just kite multiple mobs. Lots of mobs, maybe uh, the crocodiles or whatever. And anyways, that's it. I hope this has been of a little bit of uh, value to you guys. Talk to you later.